Hello, my name is Leopoldo Armesto and in this video I will explain how to create uh, the Mi Arm robot uh, in Copele Sim in order to simulate this robot. So let me first introduce this robot. It's a 3 degree of freedom robot with a gripper that their design is um, available in Thingiverse so you can download it and import uh, the files. Actually, the design that you see here, it's an adapted version, a modified version that I made some slight modifications in order to uh, allocate the electronics inside the robot. So everything will be uh, inside the robot here. So we can easily control it, okay? Including the Arduino electronics with the Arduino Nano and also a small power bank with a battery, a lead-ion uh, lead battery. So uh, let me first explain which is uh, the procedure that I have followed in order to get into or to get to these steps first, okay? So my design was to start with uh, this um, design you, you, you see here in uh, SolidWorks in which I use this, obviously, this software in order to design the robot and do all the necessary modifications, okay? to, let's say, the uh, precision of millimeter, because this is obviously a uh, software for designing, uh, in this case, uh, or can be used to design this robot here. And um, then what I have done is I have exported all these components here into STL files. And then with those STL files, then I can go to uh, Copilism and import them. Okay, there's a slight problem. Uh, let me show it to you here in this new sim here. So uh, first, let's try to import a mesh. Okay. If we import the meshes, all the steel files that we have for the uh, for the robot, then we have uh, really a huge amount of files with uh, a lot of details, extra details for the scaling. Let me just put one millimeter, okay? So this is uh, actually what you should do when you start to design a robot with your STL files. And as you can see, it takes some time because there are some complex geometries here due to the STL files, okay? Some of them actually are really, really complex and we don't want them to be such complex. So I have done a process in which I have simplified uh, some of the geometries, particularly the screws, uh, and also the electronics, the power bank, everything, okay? Particular those electronics, I have simplified them. So let me just briefly uh, summarize what is what I've done. Okay, so let's start, for instance, with this screw here. Uh, there it is. Uh, if we enter into the shape edit mode, then we have the screw. Then what I have done is just select, let's say, I have or I want to uh, decompose this geometry into two simple uh, cylinders, one for the head, and this is one cylinder, and once I have created the cylinder, then I remove all the triangles I have selected. Sorry, I didn't mention it, but in order to select the triangles, you have to hold on the shift uh, button. And then with the rest of the triangles, you select them. There it is. And then you create another cylinder. And if you do this carefully, it's not the case. This is, uh, let me just repeat again. The reason is, let me just do it again, is when we remove that, we, we leave some triangles. Let me do it like that. The reason is that we leave some triangles. We can see it here, but yeah, let me try it again. Okay, and now remove this. And to make sure, let me just simply hide this part here, this component here. Let me just hide it to have a better or a clear view. Yeah, it doesn't mind. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there it is. And now with, let me just hide that one, the one I have created, the cylinder, for temporarily. Uh, let me see. Yeah, that's that's the reason. 
when we selected the cylinder, we left some triangles here. Okay, so that's what we have to clear. Oops. So you have to clear all these triangles. There is. Sometimes it takes more time than Ah, there it is. Okay, now we have more or less clear all the triangles. Then we can select the reminder of triangles. Let me just, uh, there it is. Then we have all these triangles we have here, and then we can extract a cylinder with a reasonable size, as yes, you can see. Okay, yes. And now we can remove the original shape. We don't want it anymore. And then we have this cylinder that I created first. Let me just show it again. There it is. And then we have two simple cylinders, which is much better for a simulator in order to carry out the simulation with, uh, instead of the whole complex geometry of, of this group, which in terms for us, it doesn't really affect too much. Okay. I mean, in the, the aesthetic aspects. So then we just simply can group them edit group group selected shapes so we have one screw and then we can call this screw yep and then this is actually the process that i have followed as i said in order to simplify all the geometries that i consider that will be necessary to be simplified so this is what i have done already in this step here and actually i'm providing you with this file with all the necessary simplifications okay so and uh, the thing is that uh, now what I want you to do is to create the actual joints of the robot. Okay, because right now they are only just simply uh, parts and components, but there are no joints. Okay, they are just simply uh, elements that we can move, but there's no joint that ensures that both of them are linked together. Okay, so your first step is actually to create the joints of this robot. So first, we need to analyze or understand how this robot works, okay? Clearly, you can see here, this will be joints. These things here will be joints. And this thing here will be joint. This one here, this one here as well, this one here, okay? But some of them are just simply uh, uh, spacers, screws, something that just uh, fixing elements that they are not uh, they, are, uh, they are not moving at all, okay? So you don't need to add a joint on every screw, obviously, okay? And this robot in particular has four servo motors. The first one is this one here below. Yeah. And if you want to see how or what we have here inside, let me just simply first try to occlude all the elements that I have here. There it is. Okay. As you can see, this servo motor has a screw there, okay? And this is the actual uh, uh, rotation axis. So we have to find out which are the rotation axis for each of the joints, and we need to create a joint. All of them will be revolute joints, that one here. And then let me just move the joint so you can clearly see what's happening here. So the task will be just to place the joint just right there in the middle of the screw. So first, let's try to find out which is the name of this screw. It's self tap screw 9. So let's select the joint, then select with the control, uh, select the screw, and then let's copy the position of the joint corresponding to the one of the screw. Okay. And the joint, as you can see, is really... A Let's rename it as joint one. 
and this joint is actually quite big so let's reduce the length and the diameter yeah something like that more reasonable yeah and usually joints will be placed in the second um, row of the visibility layers so they will be in this uh, visibility layer so they will be visible from when or, or whenever you activate the second layers you can you will clearly see the joint there okay yeah so now your task will be to create all the joints of the robot that you need in order to uh, create a proper robot so let me just simply mention that this first joint is the joint one that's correct this servo motor here is servo two so this is joint two this servo motor here is servo three and this is joint three and this is the gripper which is the servo four yeah so it's it has to be joined right there yeah joint four but the rest the name of the rest of the joints are not that relevant you can just simply uh, assign whatever name you want okay and remember that you have to create the joints on the proper position and orientation so for instance if you want to create a joint there you just simply have to create another joint there select as i said the corresponding screw move it to the corresponding position but also remember that sometimes uh, we might need also to assign the correct orientation so this is the actual axis okay and then this joint here will be uh, again with a small length, smaller length and diameter. And there it is. Okay. Okay. So your task for this um, first step that I want you to achieve is to create the joints of this robot. Thank you very much.